All right, Makeup Geeks, welcome to another Makeup Monday, or as I should say today, Skincare Monday, because everything I'm talking about today is all about skincare. I'm obsessed with it right now, and I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the texture of my skin. I do some Facebook Lives um, every week, so make sure you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram. It's Marlena Stell, and I show you literally, my phone is this far from my face, so you can see in person exactly what products I'm using, what does my skin look like in real time. I don't use any filters, and my skin has better now, as I'm dang near 40 than what it was when I was in my 20s. And I swear a lot of it is by certain things I've done, like some laser treatments, but also the skincare. I'm, as you will see, I am a skincare junkie. So I have a massive table of product that I'm going to review from you for you. It's all stuff that I bought with my own money. A few of them were gifted and I'll let you know which ones, but regardless, my opinion is very solid. I'm very strict on what I put on my face and I find what has worked and what hasn't. And I've tried literally a plethora. Is that how we say it? Plethora? How do we say? Plethora? Plethora. <laughs> there we go. Mama needs some coffee today, you guys. A plethora of makeup and skincare products. And so I know my stuff on what works and what doesn't because I've tried it all. <laughs> so. I'm gonna start first with budget-friendly items and I'm gonna work my way gradually up until the very end is extreme luxury products. So that way at re whatever price point that you're at, you can find some products that you can check out that fits for your specific budget. So grab a snack, grab some coffee, get cozy, let's get into some skincare. So our first item is what I take my makeup off with and you can get these at Target. Hi Target, we love Target. So Burt's Bees has these cleansing towelettes and they are amazing. They um, are super gentle on the skin. They don't dry me out. They don't sting. They don't burn. They're not expensive at all. I want to say they're around the $6 range. And on the screen, you guys will have a little ta price tag and the name of each product, as well as having it in the YouTube box below. So make sure you click on that so you can see what all I am talking about. So these cleansing towelettes are amazing. I use these every night to take my makeup off. Very effective. And then just make sure you wash your face after this. This is just to cleanse makeup off so that's by Burt's Bees and then the cleanser that I use in the morning when my skin is very dry and I want something that's hydrating it's very milky it's very soft is the Aven brand and this is their three-in-one makeup remover this product I got at I believe CVS and it was again it's not too expensive it's a great cleanser and it's a huge bottle so even the amount that you pay you get a lot of product this one to me I love the texture because it's very soft and silky so if you have dry skin or sensitive skin this is amazing it just kind of melts the makeup off it doesn't leave a greasy film but it does feel very clean on your face so as you can tell I mean I don't know if you guys can see how empty my bottle is I'm down to there right now I've been using this well over a year and I swear by it I love it a lot so great cleanser the other item that's in the budget friendly item I got this at Target this is by Boots Botanics and I don't know I'm going to show you guys how much I use of all this stuff because there's literally a ton of products and you'll see all of my stuff is almost empty I have used this <laughs> this is the oil you see where I'm at down here this is the Boots Organic oil and what I do with this is when my skin is very dry I apply this underneath my moisturizer as an extra layer of when I just my skin is so dry and what I also do is apply it on um, underneath my foundation so if I feel like ah, my skin's still dry getting ready to apply my foundation I feel like it's kind of thick and cakey I will either mix this oil with the foundation or apply a layer underneath then put foundation on top and it makes the foundation very dewy and fresh. So it smells great. It's not expensive and it lasts you quite a while. It's um, almost a full fluid ounce. So pretty good size for that. And I've used it well over a year as well. And it's, you know, I still have a fair amount left in there. Now this product is pretty new to me. It's the Garnier one. I've got this about a month ago and I've used, you know, just about that much. So this one's a bit newer, but it's the Micellar Cleansing Water from Garnier. It's an all-in-one cleanser. It's kind of like, what is that brand that came out with this years ago? There was this high-end brand that was known for having this type of cleanser, but basically I use this as a toner. So um, if I remove my makeups with my um, Burt's Bees, after that I still feel like, ah, I still want to kind of tone and get some more residue and gunk off my face. I'll put this this on a little cotton pad, rub it all over my face, and it cleanses the skin um, and it leaves it a bit hydrated. You will feel that there is, um, I don't want to say residue because it doesn't feel bad at all, but you will feel that there's a little bit of film on there, but it's a very hydrating, it's not greasy at all. I really like this a lot. Um, so if you want something very, very sensitive that removes makeup, is a great toner, just cleanses the skin, this would be a great option to have. And it's a big old bottle. I don't remember how much I paid at Target for this, but it wasn't much and it's 
this will literally last you like two years. It's a big bottle. <laughs> Next, I have the brand. I'm gonna break it up by brand as well. And this is kind of um, moderate price point. This you can get at some drugstores as well. Uh, my CVS, at, or no, Walgreens. My Walgreens has this, and it's the brand La Roche Passay. It's a French brand. I first heard of them when I went to school in Paris. And um, they have a few products that I like, all reasonably priced, very, very high quality. I love their stuff. They have this Cisa Plus Bum B5, and basically this is a really, really intense moisturizer. So if you have dry, parched, flaky, irritated skin, and you need something that's really intense, hydrating, but isn't greasy, it's not gonna break you out, this is the deal. This is the real deal, guys. So here's the texture of that. It's a very um, thick cream. There's not much of a scent to it. There's maybe a slight scent to it. So they usually have, I mean, from my experience, their products have been pretty clean. And let me show you, because my, my hands were dry and crusty. <laughs> I just started pulling out a southern accent right there. What is going on today? So do you see how my skin is very, very hydrated? And I do have a video coming out after this, you guys, that um, is showing my skincare routine for 40 and Fabulous. I do use some of these items in person, so stay tuned for that. But this is a great moisturizer if you want something very thick, very hydrating, love that one. And then in that same line, something that's not as thick but is still a great moisturizer is the Double Repair Moisturizer. And and I've, I'm, this is almost empty, so I'll show you. So this moisturizer here is great just for an everyday one. So if you're like, you know, you're at your local drugstore, you're in a hurry, you don't know what to get, you want just a clean, basic, but still effective moisturizer, this is a great one to get. Nothing fancy in it. It's literally just gonna be a lightweight lotion. It's good for combination skin. So it's, if you have dry, it's not gonna be hydrating enough. Works for oily skin as well. It's not gonna make you greasy. So it's just down the middle. Great everyday moisturizer is amazing. So that's the double repair moisturizer. And then this mask. Let me take a quick second to just let you know how much I love this mask. <laughs> I have three bottles of this now, and I love the size because I, it's great for travel. So they have this Hydrophase Intense Mask, and it has hyaluronic acid in it. And for me, what I do is I wash my face, and I put a layer of this on. Let me show you. I'm, my hands are going to be very, very taken care of after this video. <laughs> so it's a creamy type texture. Do you see how everything's kind of creamy with this line? But when you blend it down, do you see how it starts turning into like a, a layer of hyaluronic acid? It's very, um, almost kind of gel-like feeling. So what I do is I wash my face, put this mask on, I put a really thick layer when I get in the bathtub or if I wanna sit and just chill and read a book. Um, I leave this on for about 10 minutes and then I um, rinse my face off very gently and then I do the rest of my skincare routine, my moisturizer and stuff. It leaves my skin so hydrated. It's amazing on those days. I, I use this at least twice a week because my skin is so, so dry and I swear it helps hydrate my skin. The next morning when I wake up, my skin is like smooth like butter. <laughs> so love that brand so much. Okay, now we're gonna move into the slightly moderate price range. So this is another French brand, Cotelier. And this is another mask that I love to use. This is their moisturizing mask. And this one is more like a traditional mask where it's gonna dry and um, it's going to, not crust up, but it's gonna, um, it's gonna dry up a little bit. So basically it's a cream. And this mask is great if you want something when you're soaking in the bathtub, if you want something, I use it like maybe once or twice a week. Let it sit on your skin, soak, do your nails, just let it chill for 10 to 15 minutes, rinse it off. Same kind of effect as the La Roche Passay one, but I feel like this one is a little bit more intense. This is if you're like really, really dry and you just want a mask to calm the skin, it's amazing. Rinse it off, you're good to go. I use this um, at least once a week as well in those days where I'm really, really dry. So I love the brand Cotelier. Now the next brand is also a French brand. Can you tell that I love French skincare? I am obsessed with, I, I love everything French. I feel like in a past life, I think I was a Parisian girl because every time I go there, I'm like, <sighs> okay, anyways. 
Vichy is a French brand. It's moderately priced. You can get this at Walgreens. I believe some Target may have it. You can also get it on Amazon. But they have this hyaluronic acid that I have used so much. It is my holy grail right now of hyaluronic acid. It's their 89 Mineral 89. And it's just hyaluronic acid and I use it as a serum. So after I wash my face, I put the serum on, I let it sit for just a brief second and then I put my moisturizer on top. It also adds extra hydration on there and what hyaluronic acid does, acid does, acid does, there we go, draws moisture into the face. So in the air, wherever in your body, it's gonna pull moisture in to your face where it needs it. I love it, because again, my skin is super dry. I need all the help I can get. So hyaluronic acid, definitely a must. Amazing product to use in your skincare routine. And then their cleanser that I like as well, it's kind of similar to the Aven one. It's their three-in-one gentle cleanser. If you need something at the drugstore for sensitive skin, you just want a very basic, very clean, effective cleanser, this is great. It is their one-step cleanser for sensitive skin. Not expensive at all, it's amazing. It doesn't have any scent to it. It's just a great everyday go-to one. It kind of has a gel-like texture. It's like a gel cream. You guys see the texture on there? It's kind of half cream, half gel. So if you like that kind of um, texture, like if it's hot out and you want something that's a gel that's kind of cooling, you'll like this one a lot. So it's a great cleanser. And then the brand um, Pixie. So they sell this at Target. I don't know if these specifically are at Target. If not, you can get it online. My friend Sabrina gave these to me and I'm, I, I'm obsessed with them. So these are detoxing eye pads. Let me show you guys. <laughs> so if you have eye bags or puffy eyes or you just had a sleepless night for whatever reason, I ain't gonna judge. <laughs> you can put these little eye pads down. Let me show you, they're so cool. So thank you, Sabrina, for giving these to me because they're so cool. So look, it's like a little, whoo, there's some jelly on there. I use these in my actual video, my skincare routine video. It's pretty fun. You gotta check it out when I post. So it's these little iPads and what you're gonna do after I wash my face, when I give myself a spa treatment, I give myself a facial, you're just going to slap these under the eyes and you're gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes or so. Take them off and then rub in the, um, I call it jelly, it sounds gross, but that's what it is. You kind of rub it in, it's gonna hydrate your face, it depuffs the eyes, it's cooling so it calms them down. It just feels like you gave yourself a facial, but without all the extra cost added. So, <laughs> I don't know the exact price for these, but I'll look it up and I'll post it for you guys, but it's the Pixie Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. Very fancy. Next is a brand um, that is an indie brand. So if you guys want um, customized skincare from someone who is very personal, who will give you a detailed list of what you need help with, she's amazing. Her name is Christina, she's a friend of mine, and I have used her skincare for the last several years, and of all of these products, I swear by her stuff, it is amazing. I'm not just saying that because she's my friend. I use this stuff every single day, one product or another, because it's so effective, it's very pure, there's no crap in there, it's a very good ingredient deck. And she has her site, aestheticarts.com, and if you email her and say, look, I have acne skin, or I have rosacea, or I have this and that, she is the most talented, insane, passionate person about skincare I've ever met in my life. And she, her products are great. So I'm gonna stop raving about her because I, I just wanna talk about her products. So her botanical cleansing cream and makeup remover is amazing. I've used this for three years now. And what I do is on the days where after I wipe my face off with a lot of makeup, I use this to break it down. It's a very creamy cleanser. Comes in a cap like this. Let me show you the texture. So it's a creamy cleanser and it feels so luxurious on the skin. And so what I do is I rub it on the skin and then I take my washcloth, I'm gonna take my little, my little cloth here. I rent my washcloth, I wipe it off and it removes all of my makeup. It leaves my skin feeling smooth like a baby's butt. It's hydrated, it's fresh, it's clean. It is amazing. So I love this cleanser so much. And then the other cleanser that I use on days when I'm feeling oily or if I feel like I'm broken out and I need some help with my acne, I use the Purifying Peppermint Cleansing Gel. This is her top seller. I've used this I think maybe five years. I don't know when she launched, it's right when she launched the line. It's been years now and this is my, it's almost empty. This is probably my fifth bottle. 
but it's purifying peppermint. It's all pure ingredients. It smells very refreshing. This is great if you really need a good intense cleanser that's going to work for oily skin, acneic skin. It's not going to be harsh or anything, but it will really cleanse it and it smells amazing. It's unlike anything, any skincare item I've ever tried before. So that's incredible. And then my go-to hydrating mist for all of you who ask like, what do you mist your face with? This is it. So her Petals of Dew Hydration Mist, I use after my makeup. I used it today. I don't know if you guys can tell. My skin, does it look dewy? Does it look fresh? <laughs> you can use this as a toner. So after you wash your face, you can mist it or put it on a cotton pad, rub it all over. After you do your makeup as well, if you want to get rid of that powdery look or you just want a refreshing spray, I just use this. It smells delicious. It's good for your skin. It has some great ingredients for it. It's not, it's just, a really good product all over around. So I love that as my hydrating mist. So Airborean is a Korean-based skincare brand. They are known for having pretty pure ingredient decks with its highly effective. So this one, um, I'm on my third bottle now. This is the Black Cleansing Oil. This is what I use to break my makeup down as well. It's a very good cleansing oil. It feels amazing on the skin, but it will get all that makeup off. So you have a super dramatic look on your face. You have makeup on every spare inch of your face. You use this cleansing oil to wash your makeup off. It gets rid of everything, all the residue. It is like no joke. It will get it all off. So this stuff is amazing. They're black cleansing oil. If you want something that's in a creamier form, this is kind of a, f a solid version of that. So it's their solid cleansing oil. Let me show you. So that's how much I've used so far. And if you guys can see inside there. So this is a bomb like product. And what you can do is rub this on your face all over, including your eyes. And do you see how kind of shiny it is? It definitely has kind of a, it's an oil. It's like a s solid oil. You're gonna put this on your face. It's gonna melt all the makeup off. And then after you do this, wash your face with a cleanser amazing so i love that product and then another mask that i like to use is their bamboo water lock and this is a gel type mask so let me show you it looks kind of like the um are you guys old enough to remember Nicole, nickelodeon when they had the slime do they still do that am i making myself feel old <laughs> it's a jelly type mask what you're gonna do again, when you have your bathtub time, you give yourself a facial, <clears throat> you're gonna put this jelly all over your face. It feels so cool. It feels very cooling. <clears throat> so on days when it's hot out, but I need moisture, I put this on, wipe it off again, baby's butt feeling. It's a great hydrating mask, but it's very cooling. So I think this would be a great one if you have oily skin as well, but you still want hydration, but you want something that feels good on the skin. It's so cool. I haven't seen any product like this in that kind of jelly form. So that is their bamboo waterlock mask. Okay, now we're getting into the more moderate to, yes, Lainey. <laughs> now we're getting into, ladies at my feet as usual, moderate luxury category. So it's kind of like inching higher up, um, but still great quality. So Drunk Elephant, you guys all know it. It's a product you can get at Sephora. This is the one thing from the brand that I feel like I really like, and it is their Lala Retro Whipped Cream. And basically it's just an everyday moisturizer. I love the packaging on it. It has this cool pump right here where you pump to get out your product. It's great because I feel like it's not wasteful product because you're only going to get the amount that you need. So it's a pretty thick moisturizer, but it's not greasy at all. This moisturizer I will use um, just on an average day. If I'm not super dry, I'm not super oily, I just need a good everyday moisturizer that feels really smooth and luxurious on skin, I would use this one a lot. So I love that. You can get it at Sephora. And then the other one that you can get at Sephora, this is a enzyme mask. And I will give a disclaimer on this. If you guys are big babies and you don't like burning on your skin, you will not like this product. If you are hardcore and you're like, bring it on, you're gonna love this. <laughs> so don't be hating on me. If you try this, you'd be like, you didn't tell me this burns. I'm telling you now, it burns, but this shizn it works. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. So I'm gonna show you how much I used of this. This is in my shower all the time. It's almost empty. 
So this mask is one that I will use when I have a bunch of crap in my skin, my pores are filled, I'm feeling blah about my skin, and I'm in a, I'm in a like beast mode, and I'm like, I'm gonna get this stuff out of my pores. This is the mask that I wear. This is the Marlena does not F around day. This is the mask that I wear when I'm feeling it. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is wash your face, sit in a bathtub, do whatever you gotta do, you know, get your strength on, put this mask on, and it's going to basically detoxify your skin. It's gonna tangle a little bit. It smells amazing. It smells like a pumpkin latte. So if you like pumpkin lattes from Starbucks, you're gonna love this mask. It's amazing. It's I haven't tried any other product that's quite like this. It has some, um, I think I wanna say it has some acids in there. Don't quote me, but I think it has lactic acids in there, pumpkin enzymes, alpha hydroxy acid. Um, so what it does, it's gonna rejuvenate, revitalize, it's gonna clean out all that gunk, it's gonna give you fresh skin, it's gonna give you a restart. So I love that, you can get it at Sephora. And then back to my French skincare, because you guys know I love French skincare. So this is a luxury French skincare brand, it's called Darfon. Darfon, if you guys go to Paris and you want the most relaxing, luxurious, gorgeous, beautiful, peaceful facial you will ever get, go to Darfon. You can look it up. It's spelled D-A-R-P-H-I-N. They're super sweet in there. Every time I go to Paris, I meet with them. I get the most amazing facial. I leave feeling like a princess. And their courtyard they have is so beautiful. They have like a fountain. They have flowers. They have a seating area. It's so luxurious and so gorgeous. So I get some of their products every time I go. One of their masks that I absolutely love is their Hydrating Kiwi Mask. So their Kiwi Mask is one that they always do um, on my skin when I go, and it's super hydrating. Sorry, I'm having trouble getting the lid off. So it's a creamy color like this, and what I do is I just leave it on my skin. Same thing, you take your bath, you want a nice hydrating mask. It's very luxurious feeling because it's very silky. It feels like silky butter. I don't know how to describe it. If you want a luxury treatment, this is gonna be the one. So this is the mask I put on. I, I mask once or twice a week, so I'll rotate between which ones I use, and this is always in my rotation because it's really, really good quality. And then the, um, the Dermabrasion kit that I use, or an exfoliant, so you wanna be careful with the exfoliants that you guys use. This one is great because it's gentle, but it's very effective. It's the Darfon Dermabrasion Anti-Age, the anti-age defying one. Let me show you the texture of this one. So this is my new bottle. This is my second one that I have. So what the texture is, it's kind of creamy, but it has these really, really, really fine granules in it. It's very soft, very gentle, but it is a Effective. So what I will do on the days, um, I exfoliate once a week. So I'll usually do it before I mask. You'll wash your face, you'll put this exfoliant on, you're gonna scrub it. So you're gonna rub it all in your skin. You're gonna spend a good couple minutes just really scrubbing around with this product, kind of get everything off, and then you're gonna wash it off, then moisturize, and it, it gets all the dead skin off your face, it smooths it out. It's just a nice reset for your skin. So I love doing this every Sunday night. That's my ritual. I watch Game of Thrones. Well, not anymore, <laughs> I did. And then I do my, my spa treatment, so that's one of the ones I use. All right, eye cream. Eye cream that I love is Bart Diffron as well. This is the deep puffing antioxidant one. Let me show you this one here. So it's a very cooling kind of jelly type eye cream. So if you want something that's very just smooth and silky, it's cooling, it's deep puffing. This is a great one. What I do is I put a big, not a big, but a thick layer on and I let it set and I just brush my teeth, I do whatever else I have to do, and I'll come back and then I'll smooth it in the rest of the skin. My eyes feel very hydrated, very silky. It's great for doing this before you put on your makeup. For those of you who guys are like, oh, my makeup always looks cakey under my eyes, using a really good eye cream like this is gonna help a lot to make the foundation not cake underneath. So I love the love of that. Okay, now are you guys ready for the very luxury? We're now going to move in the ultra luxury item. So do not be mad at me that these prices are high because I'm just, I'm trying to give all price ranges. So these are very expensive products. They're amazing. I do feel like these are worth it if you want to treat yourself. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with this mask because I, I don't know what kind of like voodoo magic is in this mask. It is incredible, okay. So SkinCeuticals, I'm warning you, the price is really high. Don't be mad. <laughs> they have these biocellulose restorative masks. 
I got these at um, Advanced Skin and Body here in Washington. If you need a great place to get laser treatments, fillers, Botox, whatever, any sort of aesthetic treatments, go there. It's in Bellevue, Washington. They had these masks, and so I did this really strong, I did a clear and brilliant laser, but I, I went hardcore. I was like, put that sucker on the highest setting. I was like, let's, let's get everything off. Let's go hardcore. So she did, and I was expecting me to walk out looking like Frankenstein or whatever, and what they did after they did the laser treatment is they took this mask and they put it on my skin and they left it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you guys, my face was not red. It was not burning. It wasn't hot. I don't know what kind of magic is in this mask, but if you have damaged, irritated, immensely dry, had a, had a treatment of some sort and you need help, you need 911 rescue for your skin, this mask is it. And you, it's like a sheet mask, you're gonna let it sit on there, but it is expensive. So I buy them singles from Advanced Body because I'm like, I'm not buying a whole pack. If you go online and buy the whole pack, it's $120 for six of them. So these masks are 20 bucks a piece. I told you, don't be mad. Don't come out to my house with your torches and try to burn my house down because you're mad at me. I know it's expensive, I swear. But if you need emergency help and you need rescue for your skin, I'm telling you this thing is worth it. So I don't know what is in there that has that magic, but it's insane, <laughs> insane. So on that same line, this is the same brand. This is another mask that I use. It's their calming mask. I feel like this is maybe a little bit more gentle, but still in the same line of that type of mask. It's their Fido Corrective Mask. It's an intensive calming botanical mask. It looks kind of funny. It's this green gel. Look how much, I told you I, got, I use all this stuff. Look, it's half gone. This is the mask I use when I, I'm stupid, I go out in the sun, I get sunburnt, or I'm like, my skin feels itchy or irritated. I put this mask on and it repairs my skin. It's, I wanna say it's in the $65 range, so it is not cheap, but it, I don't use it all the time. I use it maybe like once a month, once every other month, and it works amazing. So I let it sit on my skin for 10 minutes, wash it off, the next day my skin feels like nothing was ever wrong with it. I don't know what kind of magic skin SkinCeutical does, but, it is worth the price point if you want to splurge on yourself, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. The other brands that are in the more pricier range, you guys know of this one because everyone on YouTube talks about it. It's Tatcha. It's a Japanese brand. It's amazing. Everything I've gotten from them is top notch, but the one thing that I consistently use from them is their One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. I love their packaging. It's super sleek. I think they did a great job with their brand. Wow, mine's messed up. It's, it's almost empty. <laughs> so basically, this is an oil. And this is what you wanna to use to break your makeup down. So I use I use my Burt's Bees wipe, get all my makeup off, and then if I wanna get that extra makeup and kind of rinse and really kind of deep cleanse with an oil, I use this one, rub it all in the skin, warm washcloth, wipe it off, your makeup's good and gone, and it's not stripping at all. So I love that product so much. And then, um, so for an acid, if you guys want, a toner or something um, like an acid to put on your skin. It's basically AHA, alpha, alpha hydraulic acid, I think is the exact name for it. I may be wrong, but this is the brand called Celaclay. It's very expensive. I don't use this all the time, but they have this AHA resurfacing serum. So what it has in it is lactic, glycolic, and mandelic acid. It has three types of acid in one. And what it does is it um, basically retextures my skin. It gets all the stuff out of my pores. If I feel like I'm breaking out, this is the one thing I'll go to. So what I do is I wash my face, do my toning if I need to, and then this is a cream. Sorry, it's dirty, you guys. I told you I use all this stuff. So it's basically a serum that you can put on and I leave this on my skin. Now I will say this is gonna tingle, it's gonna burn a little bit. So if you guys are babies when it comes to your skin, don't use this product, you may not like it, but if you're hardcore and you're like, bring it on, this is another one that'll be great. So I love using, um, AHAs, acids on my skin because I feel like it's detoxifying, it's cleansing, it helps, it gets rid of my acne, it prevents acne, it's just all around great stuff for clearing the skin. So I use that maybe once a week, a couple times a week, more so if I'm breaking out. So I love that. You have to get it on their website. I got it at a local spa here. Um, so I will try to find it for you guys online, but go to their cellaclay.com, I think is where you can get it.
Now I'm gonna take a quick second because I have to pause and tell you something super important because I know you guys are hanging with me. You're like, whew, she was not joking. This is a massive skincare review. I have to tell you about retinol. Okay, I am almost 40 years old. This is important, you guys. That's why I'm being very forceful right now. I need you to listen. If there is one thing you can do for your skin that will help with aging, will help with texture, it is using a retinol in your skincare routine. So retinol is a derivative of vitamin A, and what it does is it's gonna um, increase your collagen in your skin, and collagen is what makes your skin stay plump and lifted and youthful. It's gonna help with fine lines, wrinkles, texture, sunspots, damage, anything it's pretty much overall going to like keep your skin in order I swear right now that my skin at almost 40 years old the texture is better than what it was in my 20s and that's because starting at age 29 I started using retinol on a regular basis I started very moderate I worked my way up till I'm at prescription grade uh, percentage even for me this I wish I could get something a little bit stronger which I'll probably go to my dermatologist but this is a great option um, it is the Jan Marini retinol plus and it's basically um, a serum type product that I put underneath my moisturizer you have to start off very slowly when you start retinol because a lot of people can get skin irritation it causes retinol redness because it is hardcore stuff but it is going to transform your skin if you can hang out hang out if you can hang in there and try to get this to work start like once a week then twice a week then three times a week start at the lowest dosage work your way up i am at true on like prescription grade right now and it's the one thing i can swear that has kept my skin in the best order ever so out of anything that you get invest in a good retinol see a dermatologist see an esthetician ask them what can i get started on i swear by it so i like the jan marini one because it's really strong and very very effective so i've been using that for a year now okay then the last products that i have um, is by my favorite brand and you guys know this it's a luxury brand but I have used them for years I discovered them actually when I was at Disneyland I went to their spa because I was feeling like crap and I was like I need a facial my skin is jacked I'm so tired Disneyland is beating my butt I need to relax so I went into their spa and I forgot my moisturizer on my trip so I asked them what they had it was really expensive I was like okay let me just try it and it was the Elemis one since then I've been hooked and is one of my favorite brands of all time so um, I don't have it with me right now. I'm so mad I ran out of it, but their, um, their marine collagen cream, holy shiznit, is the best moisturizer I've ever used. It's so luxurious. It's a great moisturizer for dry skin if you need something that's hydrating. It has collagen in it. It's gonna build it up. It's gonna improve the texture of your skin. I love that so much. It is very pricey. It's an investment. So if you want a luxury skincare item, I love everything by the Elemis brand. The other product that I've been using lately is their peptide night recovery cream oil so basically what I use this as is a serum and it's a mixture between a cream and an oil look I'm like almost I'm almost running out <laughs> So what I do is I wash my face on the days where, again, I need moisture, I want something luxurious, I need something hydrating. I put this one on, rub it into the skin, let it sit, put my moisturizer on top. It makes my skin so buttery feeling. It's amazing. Like their ingredients they use are top notch. It's very, very luxurious brand, but all great stuff. Um, and then along that same line, another product that I love from them is their eye recovery cream. This is my go-to eye cream right now because it's very hydrating. Comes in a little tube. It's super hydrating. It's a little thick, but it's not greasy, not heavy. It's just a great moisturizer for under the eyes. If I feel like my foundation is getting thick and cakey, this is what I use under there. Wow, ladies really snoring right now <laughs> all right and then the last product from them is their eye makeup remover i love the clinique one that's been my go-to for a while but since i started using this i really like it a lot it's their white flowers eye and lip makeup remover and so this is a great one for just removing your eye makeup so i put it on a little cotton pad wipe it off it gets all of my eye makeup off it's very hydrating it's it's just smooth on the skin it's very luxurious so anything from this brand you guys can find is amazing Woo! You guys made it. <laughs> I told you this was no joke. I like had a literal review for all of this stuff. So starting with, you know, more budget friendly up to luxury. Hopefully you guys found something in here that you're interested in. That's my true opinions on everything. I'll link below all of the stuff that I talked about so you guys can check that out. So 
have fun with your skincare. Lady says hi to you guys. She's doing her little nap in. So <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you next Monday for another uh, Makeup Monday, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.